All right, all right, all right. All right, here we are Saturday, and I'm in my cave here, my office cave, or what I like to call my options trading laboratory. And as you may or may not know, I am starting a series on a trade that I'm calling the Fury Road Trade. And I'm calling it the Fury Road Trade because it's, uh, well, I love that movie, first of all. Fury Road, the Mad Max movie that just came out a few years ago. And the structure sort of reminds me of the, uh, like one of the cars from that movie. Just how this, like this cab, this is the cab of the car here. We're all just find the image. And, and overlay it in here. So anyway, I'm calling this strategy the Fury Road Trade. And it's, ba it's basically a strategy that's kind of growing in popularity. I saw this strategy described by a market maker years back. He had some sort of a strange like weapon name. I forget exactly what that was. But anyway, it's, it's sort of been kind of increasing popularity recently. And when I saw it, I sort of, it, re it, it reminded me of a trade structure that I do uh, consistently as my main bread and bread. Oh, I can't even talk today or, or, or any day, not just today, any day as my main bread and butter trading strategy. The, the, the strategy that I put the bulk of my money in and that I'm most comfortable with trading, which I have a couple different names for it. And this is the one that I like the best. I think is the safest, the most profitable, and it's just perfect for what I'm looking for in a trading strategy. But anyway, so this Fury Road trade is similar in structure uh, and it looks, uh, it looks like some of the pieces may even be part of the, uh, the trade that I'm doing called the grail trade, but there's a significant difference in the risk with the fury road trade. There's this huge downside risk. I'll throw up an image here of it. It, it basically it's, it's a naked put trade with a little put debit spread in front of it that a lot of folks think may act as a hedge, but I don't really think it, it may, it acts as maybe a little tiny bit of a hedge, but not any type of hedge that's going to save your bacon. If things blow up, if there's some big black swan event, I like to call it like kind of like a speed bump. It may slow things down a little bit, but it's, it's not what I would consider a hedge. And it's not something that would allow me to sleep well at night where this other trade is similar in structure, but it provides an, a, a really great, robust downside hedge that in a big market event, a big uh, black swan event, the thing would be not only well protected, but it could potentially cash out really huge really big. So I'm starting that series where I'm going to take this Fury Road trade, as I'm calling it, the Fury Road trade, and I'm going to trade it live with some real money and just kind of go through how it's taught or how I've seen it taught out there. And there's a couple of groups that are teaching this. And from what I've seen, there's one group that I really respect and admire. And I think that they have a great program. And I really like the guys that are teaching it. I consider them like the real deal. And without naming names, you can reach out to me and I can be happy to show you uh, or share with you who, who this group is and where you can find them. Just reach out to me. Just email me directly. You can go to my website and find my contact info there or just sign up for my free email newsletter. And then as soon as you sign up for that, you'll get a welcome email back from me. Just reply to that welcome email and say, hey, Dan, Boomer Dan, who is the group that you follow and recommend for the Fury Road Trade? I'll be more than happy to share with you who they are. And I can also tell you who to avoid as well. But these guys, the guys who, from what I can tell, sort of like were the, the leaders in bringing the popularity of this trade out and the ones who I really think have the best strategies and kind of overall understanding of this trade are these guys. And the only thing I don't like about this strategy is that downside risk. And it's, again, it's mostly a naked put strategy. And there's nothing wrong with that as long as you know what that is and what that means and the risks that are involved. I mean, I don't have any problem with the naked put strategy. It's not right for me. I wouldn't be comfortable trading a naked put strategy because of that risk because I know that there's a better way to trade a similar structure which is my main bread and butter trade that can do essentially the same thing but provide superb risk control a fantastic hedge that will not only save you in a big crash but that can actually potentially help you create a ton of money a huge cash payout in this black swan event so the experiment that I'm doing this month is to just take the trade I'm calling the fury road trade and trade it as it exists or as the name implies exactly what it is and then see how I feel throughout the progress, just kind of get a sense of how quick the payoff is, just kind of how it behaves. And then step two would be taking it kind of to the next level and trying to experiment with the thing and add pieces or tweak it, adjust it, morph it, so that we basically can hopefully get the same exact benefits, but in addition, have a great downside hedge that will not only hedge it and help you not lose money, but even potentially pay out into a huge jackpot win. So that's just kind of a recap of what I'm doing this month with the Fury Road trade. And just follow along with me. Just make sure you're subscribed to my YouTube channel. You can follow along with me. I'm going to be trading this with real money, documenting the whole thing, including the uh, the experimental part of it, where I'm trying to find a way that's that I feel is safer and that I'm more comfortable to trade. But anyway, so the first step of that is for me to look at just black swan hedges 
by themselves. The train that I do has an embedded black swan hedge. It's part of the structure, but it's a, it's a part that can be removed from the structure as well and just act on its own as a black swan hedge. Or it can be used in such a way so that you could, you could, keep, you could keep it embedded inside the trade as part of the trade. But as extra insurance, like an extra layer, an added layer of insurance on top of that uh, embedded built-in insurance, you could, have a, you could have a standalone black swan hedge which would potentially help you sleep even better at night. Maybe even just, you know, continue sleeping all through the next day. And I was first introduced to this concept of a, the black swan hedge in options trading by this group that I got involved with a couple of years ago. It's where I learned my main bread and butter trading structure. And there's a, a corresponding mastermind program with it that is just one of the best groups and training environments that I've ever found. And I've been involved with a lot of strategies groups. I've been trading these option strategies since way back in the Dan Sheridan days. He was uh, he was kind of my second introduction to options, and I went through his program. He's kind of what I consider the one of the godfathers, one of the OGs of options income training. But anyway, this group where I learned this is it was a cut just a couple of years ago, and it took me it took me too long to find it. I struggled for far too long before I actually found this this program in this group. But what they have done is they have uh, the course itself teaches some core, the core structure of my main bread and butter trade, the trade that I use as my main bread and butter trade. And that's with embedded black swan hedge protection in it as part of the trade, but it also teaches uh, a black swan hedge, actually like several versions of a black swan hedge that are really intriguing and how they can be used in conjunction with your trades or with any trade, really, even just a portfolio, like a regular portfolio of stocks. And the really cool part about it is that there's ways to actually create a black swan hedge that are self-financed. There's a, there's a particular way to put them together, to build them, to create them and to manage them where you can actually pay for the black swan hedge protection and not only pay it like to a break even level, you can actually turn it into an income trade that'll actually make profit by providing a downside hedge. And here's one of the ones, this is uh, not one of the core ones, this is one of the variants that I've used in the past and I really like. And so with this trade here, there's different ways to combine this and there's two different versions of this particular one, but this particular setup has an $85 profit all the way up to the moon and all the way down to here where it starts to curve up. So essentially what this is, what this is, is this is a self-financed black swan hedge. You can see this great, amazing payoff, this big, this big slope here that comes up that caps off at around 95K. So this is one of the versions of it. And this is a trade that can be found taught in this mastermind group that I'm involved in. And that's available for anyone to join in on. And this is just, you know, there's, I mean, there's, there's tons of these. There are many, many different variants and versions like this in this group, which is just why I love it so much. Why it, it, it continues to blow me away. But before I get ahead of myself, let me just back up here. So what I'm doing today is I'm just going through the first stages of this experimental project I'm doing on the Fury Road trade. I'm just looking at black swan hedges, all the different ones that I'm aware of that I could use either in addition to the uh, the Fury Road trade or embed it within the Fury Road trade. And this is an example of one. This is there's another version of this where there's no cap on the on the upside that looks like this. And this is with uh, this is a variation that there's no there's no upside cap off. This is just all this is this just goes up to uh, well as low as you can get. In this case, this is one contract. Both of these are just one contract. And of course, you can add multiple contracts and just increase the whole power of these things. But this one here, there's no cap off at the end. It just goes up to 350. But the best part is that uh, you can see that in this particular example, this trade has the worst case scenario is a profit of 40 bucks. So if it goes up to the moon, if it stays right where it's at, it comes down a little bit anywhere in this area here, worst case scenario is you can make profit of 40 bucks. And in a and in an event, a black swan event, you can see this payoff. So I'm just spending today looking at some of these just to kind of re-familiarize myself with them and then see how I can and if I can embed them within the Fury Road trade, which I'm going to be doing a series on and just showing this whole process. So you can just follow along with me as I'm doing this. Just make sure you're subscribed to my channel and I'll be be doing that this month and probably into the next month. But anyway, this is a separate video that I was planning to make this weekend, which I'm still planning to make, just kind of like looking into some of these different available black swan hedges that I'm aware of. But while I was doing this, I got an email from a guy who was asking me about the trades that I do. And it really resonated with me because I've been, because I understand where this guy's coming from. I've, I've been exactly in his shoes. And what I was thinking about doing here real quick, just make a real quick video of where I kind of show you what he was, what, what he was saying in the email that resonated so much with me. 
and my response, because I have the feeling that there's probably a lot of people out there in the same situation with the same feelings, the same viewpoint on this whole options trading thing or this whole just trading thing in general. And I've been down that path. I spent, I've been doing this for over 20 years and I've been through the various stages of, you know, trying to taking tips from, from coworkers who blew up my account in the first early days to trying to figure it out all my own, trying to like Frankenstein's things together by using different tactics I saw on YouTube and trying to stitch them together, trying to reverse engineer things. I've just been through the whole gamut of that whole process of trying to learn how to trade options for income. So what I want to do in this video is just I want to share the email that I got from this guy this morning. And I'm willing to bet that a lot of you can resonate with this, are feeling the same way and are in the same boat as this guy. And I, I was as well. And then I just want to share my response to him because maybe, maybe it will make sense where I'm coming from on it as well. And so let's just go through the email real quick. I'm not going to show the names. I'm going to block out any, any reference to other programs just to protect the innocent and the guilty. Okay, so here is the email that I got. And again, I'm just gonna blur out and block, black out the names, just respect their privacy. And so here we go. Here is the email I got from him this morning. It says, hey, I'm interested in the grail trade, at least for now, only that type of trade. I assume that you are selling for affiliate commission, black out name out there. But if you'd like to see where I'm learning this trade and the group that I'm involved in that I personally feel is the best group out there. It's a program and a group that just completely changed my whole trading game. And I can't sing the praises high enough of them. But anyways, I'm going to block it out here. But if you'd like to know who that is, or if you'd like me to introduce you to the group, just reach out to me, send me an email. But anyway, back to this email. So I don't mind that, but dot, dot, dot. I'm done and over spending thousands for training courses. And so I know exactly where this guy's coming from. I mean, this has been, this was me for years. And so when I read that, I was all, what a great, I know, I know what you're talking about, man. I've been down that path. So I replied to him. I'm just going to read my reply and hopefully some of it may, maybe it'll some resonate with you or it'll help you show where I'm at in this process. And so I say back, I say, Hey, oh, I can't say his name. Whoops. I say, Hey, thanks for the email. Nice to meet you. I can understand your jadedness, believe me. I don't know if jadedness is even a word, but oh well, looks good. I put it in parentheses just in case it's not. I can understand your jadedness, believe me. I have probably paid for and taken every options trading course that is out there, including the one you mentioned. And unfortunately, most of them are crap. And that's true. I have. I think that I've probably taken every single option course that I'm aware about there. So anyway, back to the email. So I have probably paid for and taken every options trading course that is out there, including the one you mentioned. And unfortunately, most of them are crap. But some are the real deal, and in the end, what I found in the few that were the real deal easily paid for all the crap I had to endure and way more. I also spent years trying to figure it out all by myself, experimenting and trying to reverse engineer stuff, and made little to no progress, was always uncertain, continued to flounder, growing more frustrated, and as it turned out, all my so-called reverse engineering was completely off and totally wrong, like you mentioned, and a complete waste of time. That's true. I remember I saw the, uh, there were a couple times, but like one in particular, I saw this strategy that I thought, oh, I can reverse engineer this. I'm not going to pay for that thing. So I went to work and I spent, oh man, I did tons. I did hours and hours. I probably spent a week, you know, while my family was off doing things, I was at work in my laboratory, back testing and trying different things, trying to reverse engineer this thing. And I thought I had figured it out. Finally, I had success. I'm like, yeah, <laughs> I don't need to pay for this thing. I just figured this out on my own. See? And then when I started to trade it live, things were uh, not quite looking right and I started to lose money. And so eventually, you know, after going through that scenario for like several weeks, I just put up the money, which was not a lot of money anyway in the grand scheme of things. So anyway, I, I got in there and I looked at it and it was completely different. I mean, I was, I, I was, I was way off in like Antarctica or somewhere else thinking I was at the destination, thinking I had the strategy and I was trading it, but I couldn't have been more wrong. That was just, that was ridiculous. What a waste of time that was. So anyway, let me go back to this. Always uncertain, always continued to flounder, growing more frustrated. As it turned out, all my so-called reverse engineering was completely off and totally wrong, like you mentioned, and basically just ended up wasting years of time, energy, hope, and opportunity. Cut to when I finally realized and admitted to myself all the above and began to look for and strategically invest in training that was credible, I was able to find a huge shortcut and made leaps that all my previous figuring out on my own wasted years look pathetic, sad, embarrassing, and regretful. I made leaps and changes so quickly, I was stunned, and I ate a bit of humble pie and completely changed the way I go about attempting to learn anything. A huge difference in wasting literally years, and it was literally years, 
and still not finding something that was legit and that really worked to having a real and safe system that actually worked in like a month's time. Actually, it was like a, it was like under a month's time. It was like a, the ultimate shortcut. It was transporting from one location of cluelessness to having someone who had been doing this for years, a, an expert, just showing me exactly step by step the blueprint, like less than a month's time. Anyway, so back to the email. So I understand your frustration and jadedness. I've been there. I've waited through tons of smelly shit to find very few legit sources, but the payoff I have gotten from those few completely outweighs all the crap I had to wade through. I think I paid 2K for that particular program, the one that I'm involved in now, several years back. And I, uh, but I think that is, I think that is less than that now. But from where I'm standing at now. Would I do it again? Without a doubt, in an instant. Because from what I've gotten, from what I learned in that program, I would be willing to pay 25K or 50K, and that is no lie. And that's true, and you'll see why in a second. Because what I've learned in that program, I've made far more than that. That is the test I use whenever I consider paying to learn something new. If I can at, at the very least break even with some sort of new knowledge, like some sort of tactic or understanding that I can apply going forward, or if I can make at least $1 more back from what I've spent for the training. If I can make any profit from what I learned, that qualifies as a good investment for me. I just wish that I had someone like myself out there back then to point me in the right direction to a real and legit source so I could have bypassed and avoided all the crap I had to wade through in order to finally find it and get there on my own. Anyway, sorry for the long email. It looks like I got a little carried away here, and I did. I just kind of like, I just kind of lost track of time here this morning when I wrote this. This is like a book almost. Sorry, I can't just give you the strategy because it's not mine to give away. It was created and developed by those guys in that group, and it took them a long time and tons of trial and error to get it to where it's at now. But I can tell you this, what you're talking about, the strategy that we're talking about, my main bread and butter strategy, is just the tip of the iceberg because there's a ton of more stuff in there that goes above and beyond just one strategy. And they're coming up with new stuff every single month. They have, like, they have like two meetings a month, and they have a huge archive of all the past, and that thing is just... Like I said in a, another video, that alone, not even considering the course, the main course that teaches you the stuff, that by itself has made me tens and tens of thousands of dollars, and it's ridiculously priced. I mean, it's like, you haven't seen anything like it. It's ridiculous the amount of money that they're asking for the return that I've gotten. So anyway, coming back with new stuff every single month and what they're coming up with the group together has blown my mind every month. So all that's completely true. That's just, I'm kind of wearing my heart on my sleeve there. And, you know, ultimately it doesn't really make any difference to me whether anyone joins or not gets involved with this program and this mastermind. It's something that I got involved with several years back and has completely changed my whole trading game and has made me a ton of money. Completely changed my outlook on what's possible to be done with investing. Paid for itself many, many, many times ridiculously a more than what I paid for it. And what I'm doing is I'm just showing the path that I took and where I think are the gyms and all that sea of crap. So anyway, that's my venting for this morning. If this email from this guy sounds like you're in a similar position, just, hey, just reach out to me. I'd love to talk. There's no hard sell. There's no sell at all. I'm just a regular guy who has been down this path, been doing this for like 20 years. And these are the, uh, the tips and the advice I can give to anyone else who's on the same path as to what helped me eventually get there. So if you have any questions or like comments, we'd love to talk about this. Hey, reach out to me. And if you'd like to follow along with any of the trades that I'm doing, just make sure to just subscribe to my YouTube channel below. Just hit that subscribe button. And you can also join me on my website. Just go over to my website. I'll leave a link to that in the description below. Go over there, sign up for my free email newsletter, and you'll get a welcome email from me. Just reply back to that welcome email, and then I'll get back to you and we'll go from there. All right. I hope this helps. Be on the lookout. I have several videos I'm going to try to pump out this weekend. I'm not sure I'm going to get to all of them, but I am getting this Fury Road project started, and I'm hoping to get this video on the various black swan hedges, the separate black swan hedges that can be applied to any trade, even a regular stock portfolio or a particular trade, including the Fury Road trade, and going forward from there, trying to figure out how we can either combine them together or embed them or a bunch of other tricks and techniques that I've learned from this program that maybe can be used as well. All right, that's it for today. Have a great weekend. See you later.
Thank you.